Have you ever felt your heart race or your thoughts spiral out of control during an argument with your partner? Or maybe you found yourself avoiding difficult conversations out of fear of what might happen. Anxiety can turn even the strongest relationships into a source of stress, but it doesn't have to be this way. Today, we're exploring practical communication strategies that can help you manage anxiety in your relationships and build a deeper connection with your partner. Relationships are supposed to be a source of comfort and joy, but when anxiety comes into play, they can become challenging and even overwhelming. Whether it's fear of conflict, worry about the future, or feeling insecure about where you stand, anxiety can create barriers to open and honest communication. In this video, we'll dive into the connection between anxiety and relationships. More importantly, we'll discuss actionable communication strategies that you can use to manage anxiety, improve your relationship, and create a healthier, more supportive environment for both you and your partner. 1. Understanding the impact of anxiety on relationships. Before we jump into the strategies, it's important to understand how anxiety can affect relationships. 1. Hate and sensitivity. When you're anxious, you might find yourself more sensitive to your partner's words and actions. Small comments or behaviors that might not bother you on a good day can feel overwhelming or hurtful when your anxiety is high. This heightened sensitivity can lead to misunderstandings and unnecessary conflict. 2. Fear of conflict. Anxiety often comes with a fear of conflict. You might avoid bringing up issues or expressing your feelings because you're worried about starting a fight or hurting your partner. Unfortunately, this can lead to unspoken resentment and unresolved issues that can fester over time. 3. Overthinking and catastrophizing. Anxiety can cause you to overthink situations or imagine worst case scenarios. A simple delay in a text reply might lead you to worry that your partner is upset with you, or a small disagreement might make you fear that your relationship is in jeopardy. This kind of thinking can create unnecessary stress and strain on your relationship. 4. Insecurity and Reassurance Seeking When you're anxious, you might struggle with feelings of insecurity and seek constant reassurance from your partner. While it's natural to want validation, relying too much on your partner for reassurance can create a cycle of dependency that can be exhausting for both of you. Understanding these impacts is the first step toward managing anxiety in your relationship. By recognizing how anxiety manifests, you can start to address it more effectively. 2. Communication Strategies to Manage Anxiety in Relationships Now that we've explored how anxiety can affect relationships, Let's look at some practical communication strategies you can use to manage anxiety and strengthen your relationship. 1. Practice mindful communication. What it is, mindful communication involves being fully present during conversations with your partner. This means actively listening to what they're saying without letting your mind wander to worries or anxieties. How to do it when talking with your partner, focus on their words, tone, and body language. Avoid interrupting or thinking about your response while they're speaking. If you notice your anxiety creeping in, take a deep breath and bring your attention back to the conversation. Tip. Try to have important conversations in a calm environment where you won't be interrupted. This helps create a safe space for open and honest communication. 2. Use I statements. What it is, I statements are a way of expressing your feelings and needs without sounding accusatory. This helps reduce defensiveness and makes it easier for your partner to understand your perspective. How to do it. Instead of saying, you never listen to me. Try, I feel unheard when I'm sharing something important and I'd appreciate it if we could take the time to talk about it. This shifts the focus from blaming to expressing your own feelings and needs. Tip, practice using I statements in less intense situations so that it feels more natural during important conversations. 3. Set boundaries around anxiety-driven behaviors. What it is, boundaries are essential in any relationship, but they're especially important when anxiety is involved. Setting boundaries around anxiety-driven behaviors can help prevent them from negatively affecting your relationship. How to do it? If you notice that your anxiety leads you to seek constant reassurance, set a boundary for yourself. For example, agree with your partner that you'll ask for reassurance no more than once per conversation. 
This helps you manage your anxiety while also respecting your partner's space. Tip. Communicate your boundaries clearly to your partner and explain why they're important. This helps them understand your needs and support you in managing your anxiety. 4. Practice open and honest communication. What it is, open and honest communication is the foundation of a healthy relationship. This means being transparent about your feelings, needs, and concerns without fear of judgment or rejection. How to do it? Share your anxiety with your partner in a way that's constructive. For example, you might say, I've been feeling anxious about our relationship lately, and I think it would help if we talked about how we're both feeling. This opens the door for a conversation without placing blame or creating tension. Tip. Encourage your partner to share their feelings as well. Creating a two-way dialogue helps both of you feel heard and supported. 5. Develop a coping plan together. What it is, a coping plan is a strategy that you and your partner create together to manage anxiety when it arises. This plan can include specific actions, words, or practices that help both of you feel more secure and connected. How to do it. Sit down with your partner and discuss what triggers your anxiety in the relationship. Then, brainstorm ways to cope with these triggers together. For example, if you're anxious about communication, agree to set aside time each week to check in with each other. Tip. Revisit your coping plan regularly and make adjustments as needed. This keeps it effective and relevant as your relationship evolves. 6. Take time for self-care. What it is, self-care is about taking care of your own mental and emotional health so that you can show up as your best self in the relationship. It's important to recognize that managing anxiety isn't solely your partner's responsibility. How to do it? Incorporate self-care practices into your daily routine, such as exercise, meditation, or journaling. These activities can help reduce your overall anxiety and make it easier to communicate with your partner. Tip. Encourage your partner to practice self-care as well. When both of you are taking care of yourselves, you're better equipped to take care of each other. 7. Know when to seek professional help. What it is, sometimes, anxiety in a relationship can be too overwhelming to manage on your own. Seeking professional help from a therapist or counselor can provide valuable guidance and support. How to do it? If you feel like anxiety is taking a toll on your relationship, consider couples therapy or individual therapy. A professional can help you develop better communication skills and strategies for managing anxiety. Tip, approach therapy as a team effort. Even if only one of you is experiencing anxiety, working together with a therapist can strengthen your relationship. Three, creating a supportive relationship environment. Beyond communication strategies, it's essential to create a relationship environment that supports both partners, especially when anxiety is involved. One, encourage empathy and understanding. Work on building empathy for each other's experiences. Understand that anxiety is a real and challenging condition and approach your partner with compassion rather than frustration. Two, focus on the positive. Make an effort to highlight the positive aspects of your relationship. Celebrate your successes, both big and small, and remind each other why you value the relationship. Three, be patient and forgiving. Anxiety can cause misunderstandings and conflicts, but it's important to be patient and forgiving. Recognize that both of you are working on improving communication and managing anxiety together. 4. Stay committed to growth. Relationships are a journey and growth takes time. Stay committed to improving communication and supporting each other, even when it's difficult. The effort you put in will pay off in a stronger, more resilient relationship. Anxiety doesn't have to be a roadblock in your relationship. By understanding how anxiety affects your interactions and using these communication strategies, you can navigate challenges more effectively and build a deeper, more supportive connection with your partner. Remember, the key to managing anxiety in a relationship is open communication, mutual understanding, and a commitment to supporting each other. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and subscribe for more content on managing anxiety and building healthy relationships.